Hello, creative friends. Thank you so much for being here today. Really excited to be collabing with Mark J. Ratcliffe Art today. Mark's a lovely friend, an amazing artist, and we decided today to use a black base and make metallics the star of the show. So let's see how it turned out. Now then, all of the details are in the description below for Mark. Um, and he's going to be on the premiere today. So we're really looking forward to having a chat with him and our friends. Um, if you like the, the, the videos, please do subscribe, make a comment. When we have an observation from you guys, um, when we hear what you like, what you don't like, or what you have learned about it, or what you could suggest, it really does make our day. So thank you so much for being here. Let's see what's created. So we've got the oxide black now with the 24 karat gold and I'm going to use my new swiper, my new palette knife. Look at the size of this one. So this is from the kitchen drawer. It's been hiding at the back there for so long. I don't actually think I've used it, but it's for putting icing on the cake. Um, just shows how many cakes that I make. <laughs> so I'm using this today and it just feels so good to spread the paint over the surface. You're going to have to give it a try, go in your kitchen drawer and see what you can find palette knife wise. Okay, so now I've spread that over, quite a few air bubbles today. So I'm gonna get rid of those in a minute. There's a lot of air bubbles in today. Perhaps I could have left the paints to, to sit a bit longer actually. Yeah, I was quite keen to, to get into this one. I don't know about you, but I get like this, I get a fiendish feeling come over me when I got all my paints ready and I find it really hard just to leave them there. So I've got a little lump in there. I think it could be a bug. So let's get rid of that little bug first of all. Can you see it? There he is, out of the picture. It's funny how these little bugs fly in, don't they? And land right in the painting as you're ready to go. So the first paint going down today is a metallic aquamarine blue. Oh, love this colour. So it's all metallics today. So I'm just going to lay it down in a curved like fashion. And a bit off to the side. Yeah, that feels right. I've just noticed down the bottom I've spilt a bit of blue where I don't want it. So I'm just going to put some oxide black there we are on it. And next on is metallic gold. Oh, I love this colour. It is like liquid gold. Can't wait for you to see what happens. So next we've got metallic bronze. Not as much of this one because this colour tends to be quite a bossy colour. And then we've got the metallic copper by Pebio. It's one of my old favourites. I always have that one in stock on the shelves. Next up, garnet red. I haven't used this in absolutely ages. It's been a tiny little bottle waiting to be played with again. So it's coming out today. And I just loved how the bronze, red and blue play together today with that gold. Keep calling it liquid gold. It just feels like liquid gold when you pour it. So now, a bit more of the Deco Art metallic gold, and we're almost ready to blow it out. I'm going to put a bit more on the side there. I haven't used metallic deco art gold before with these other metallics and I try to mix it I don't know if you've ever had this but with Floetrol which I've only just started using lately it takes almost the metallic sheen off the off the colours when it comes to gold and it ended up being a cream colour so I only mixed the metallic deco art with water this time and all the others are mixed with Floetrol so in the traditional Dutch pour here, I'm just putting the black, more of a base around the side before I blow it out. So you'll see now I'll be getting into the zone with this painting and enjoy the process. I'll see you in a minute.
here comes the trusty palette knife I can't resist my palette knife at the end just to make a few adjustments I'm trying to sort of bring it in to add some flow to the center and bring a sort of a curl into the center because I'm seeing some sort of orchid or some sort of flower in the center what do you see Can you see that beginning to form now? Just literally picking up the paint from the base very gently and moving it into the middle. You can see that flow being created. I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for being here today. Really, really appreciate you being here. And I want to take the opportunity to say thank you so much to Mark for this collab. It's been really good fun getting together and talking through what we fancy doing together. And I hope to collab with you again soon. And if you haven't already, please do pop over to Mark's channel and subscribe and like. He's got some amazing paintings and so creative. So it'd be wonderful. All the details are in the description below. Thank you guys for being here. And here are some close ups now. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you very soon.